So let's take a look at another energy flow diagram problem. Now energy flows within the system, and the system this time is going to be the heavy silver weight on the right, the light gold colored weight on the left, and the earth. The earth is where the potential energy due to gravity comes from. So that rope is exchanging the energy between these two weights, but then I've also got to deal with the earth. So I've got four locations to look at for the um, energy flow diagrams. Notice that on the silver, the gold colored one at the top, on the left, it says this is the instant before the mass stops moving. So it hasn't stopped moving yet. That's where I want you to look at the energy. In the lower right, it says this is the instant before the mass stops moving. So it's not the very end of this motion where they stop right here. They're still moving the instant before that for drawing these diagrams. Okay, pause the video and take a moment and draw what you think the free body, uh, sorry, the energy flow diagrams are going to look like. Okay, to make things easy, I've labeled the, the four energy flow diagrams as position one, two, three, and four. First off, because I'm talking about at the instant before all the motion stops, there's not going to be any thermal energy to work with. So I'm just going to get that out of the way right now. No thermal energy to think about. Next, I've got the potential energy to gravity because I've got a change in height. So as height goes, so does the potential energy stored in the gravity. And then I've got kinetic energy. So as the speed, the square of the speed goes, so does the kinetic energy. All right, let's, let's take a look at these. If I look at the very beginning, that is the initial energies, that position 3 and position 2. At the initial energies at position 3 and position 2, I can see that at position 2, nothing's really happening. But at position 3, I'm at the maximum height. So position 3 is where all the energy for the system is stored. Remember, the system is the silver weight, the gold weight, and the earth. So that's where all the energy is going to be stored. I'm not going to have anything at position 2 because if you notice at the very start, which is right here, it's not moving and it's at the lowest height. So this energy, these five bars, if you want to look at it that way, these five bars will have to be shared among all the other positions. So towards the end of the motion, or the end of what I'm looking for, when it gets on the bottom, it's moving and it's at the lowest point. But I only gave it two bars this time instead of the five bars. Now, why only two? Because the system is not just the silver weight and the earth, it's the silver weight, the gold weight, and the earth. So some of this energy, three bars worth, went to position number one, that other final energy of the gold weight. So it's higher than when it started, so it's going to have some potential energy. And this is the instant before it stops moving, so it's also going to have some kinetic energy. So if I look at this, positions two and three are the starting energies, and it's all stored in three. Positions four and one are the final energies, and if I add those up, I can see that 2 plus 2 plus 1 equals the original energy in position 3. So my energy has been conserved, no thermal energy. And remember, it's all shared amongst the system, which makes this one different than some of the other energy flow diagrams. And the system, or doesn't make it different, it's the way the system's defined is different. Because the system is the gold weight, the silver weight, and the earth. Instead of just having two objects to generate energy, I've got three objects to think about.